Well, 2020's been a rough one, but hey, things are looking up. Lucifer has returned. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Part one of season five is here, Lucifer. Uh, one of a lot of people's favorite shows on Netflix right now. Still can't believe it's a Netflix original show. I was a huge fan of season four and what it managed to give us, not only for these characters, but for the show in its entirety. And we have season five, at least the first eight episodes. So in part one, Lucifer's twin brother, Michael, secretly takes the devil's place on Earth while he's back in hell. First of all, I want to say thank you to Netflix for sending me these screeners getting prepped for this non-spoiler review. So we're not going to dive too deep into details, but if you guys would like to see that, let me know. We may do another video. But let's talk about Tom Ellis really quick as Lucifer. And obviously, we are very well acquainted with him at this point as Lucifer. But this time, he gets the opportunity to flex his acting chops and play Michael, the twin brother. And Michael is kind of taking his place throughout the first couple of episodes on Earth and doing his best to convince everyone else that he is Lucifer indeed. And I loved that. I love seeing the range from Tom Ellis. Now, it is a bit strange hearing his accent as Mike. I'm like, well, okay, he's a different character. So once I bought into it, I really liked that dynamic, that kind of awkward, something's a bit off dynamic between he and Chloe. Obviously, it's because it's a different person, but that was a really fun story throughout a chunk of the season. I also loved seeing just the emotional turmoil that Lucifer was going through. Listen, they had just established the fact that, okay, she now knows in season four, if you guys haven't seen it, spoiler alert, uh, she now knows that I am Lucifer. So where is our relationship going to go? Things are so much less awkward when we finally see them together on screen this season. It is such great chemistry between the two. That wall has been taken down. Now they can finally approach it as somewhat of a relationship. Now that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be some emotional turmoil between Chloe and Lucifer. There's one specific plot point that kind of carries over, and it's so funny because it seems like on the outside it was just a throwaway line of dialogue, something that his mother said. Well, that carries carries over into this season, and it's a bit of a, a nice bit of tension to throw in between Chloe and Lucifer, even though, again, the wall is torn down, and I really appreciate that. One thing about this season, though, that I will say is it does feel much more like parts of the first three seasons as opposed to what we got in season four. Season four was kind of like the rejuvenation. Okay, Netflix has taken over. We can get a bit deeper, a bit more intense in certain situations, and even though I don't love when it goes overboard, and stuff like that. I really do like what Netflix brought to the table. This season feels a bit more episodic. It feels a bit more the LAPD cases of the week type situations. And we even start out with Lucifer um, being brought in. Well, at first, it's like, I don't care. I'm here to do my job. Then he kind of gets sucked in and he gets back in that swing of things. All right, we're solving a case again. It feels good. And he says, I've only been gone for a short period of time, but down here... Where I'm at now, it feels like a much longer period of time. So when he finally gets to see Chloe, first of all, that embrace is great. But the relationship, how it progresses through this season and how it's going to keep fans in on the Chloe and Lucifer love story that we're witnessing, uh, that is so great. In terms of the other characters, Mazikeen's back. She has a bit of a beef with Lucifer. She starts out very angry at the beginning of the season. It plays out in a nice way. The character of Dan. We're all very familiar with Dan. Uh, some nice comedic moments, and that carries over. Now, it is one of those characters where you say, okay, this could easily be too much if they overdo it. But they never overdo it, especially in this season when he actually gets quite a bit to work with. I loved his storyline here. I like when he pops in and out. Uh, but there's one element in particular, and I think you guys will know what I'm talking about, that I was a, I was a pretty big fan of. You have Amina Dill, Linda and the baby. Linda is cracking us up at the beginning of the season. She thinks her baby can do anything. <laughs> and it is so funny to see that uh, motherly progression as we move and then how the stakes of last season kind of carry over, and we're dealing with a bit of the fallout with that specific storyline. But the real meat of the story here is obviously back to Michael and Lucifer. We have Lucifer, he has to return, and he's got to kind of clean up this mess that his brother made while he's also dealing with Chloe. And we're all asking ourselves, as we're moving through the season, we're like, okay, 
I really like the episodic thing, getting back into the cases and solving these different crimes and uh, one storyline with some actors that are playing our characters on a television show and the way that they portrayed them on screen. It's clearly played for laughs, but it worked really well. And that's my big thing about Lucifer. It's always been about the balance, right? We can get really deep and dark and have some pretty incredible action scenes for television especially. But then there are these lighthearted comedic moments, certain characters that come in, they make their joke, and they exit stage left. And, you know, sometimes it kind of feels like a CW type thing, but it really works in this show for some reason. They have struck the correct balance, and they continue that on into this season. Now, do I love this as much as something like what we got in season four? I will say no, because it feels like we are going back to that formula that worked very well in the first three seasons. Uh, but I was on board with what we were getting in season four, but that could also be where we all kind of thought Lucifer was coming to an end, so they had to give us this big, crazy, epic finale, and now we know there's a lot more to come, mostly because the show is so popular, but I feel like they're allowing us to have a bit more time with these characters to flesh them all out individually, maybe give us some storylines. There were a couple of subplots within the season that I didn't care as much about, but how we progress moving through Lucifer and Michael, and when we eventually get some of those fight scenes, which I thought were excellent. I mean, so well executed. You've obviously got the wings, a bit of CGI in there, looks really good, and that character depth between those two and how they play off of each other, even though it's the same person, Tom Ellis. Ellis is just so great. At this point, he's mastered one character, and now he's bringing us a new element to the table. In terms of where the story actually goes by the end of part one, and it's not a spoiler to say there is a cliffhanger. There is absolutely something that happens that will kind of set us up for the rest of the season as a whole, but it is almost a slow burn getting to what the crux of the season is going to be. We have these story points with Michael at the beginning, taking the place of Lucifer, kind of being the Lucifer of the first few episodes. There's even one episode uh, without Lucifer almost entirely. There are some really interesting episodes here. One that was entirely in black and white. It was like this noir story exploring one specific person. I thought that was really cool. Uh, but it did move a bit slower than maybe I wanted. But again, it's just the first half of the season. We have more episodes to go. We don't know when we're going to get those, but I am thoroughly excited and salivating for more as I was salivating for this season. Even though, again, I won't say it's my favorite season, I thoroughly enjoyed these first eight episodes, and I need you in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this? Are you watching it right now? As for my score, it's tough to give a score for one half, but I will for now go a 75% for season five, part one. Uh, but once we do part two, we'll do a combined score and kind of grade, review the season as a whole. If you guys would like more loose for talk, uh, the TV show, uh, please let me know down below. I would love to bring you something involving spoilers, maybe talking a bit uh, deeper about that finale, which was really cool, or at least the part one finale. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Are you watching Lucifer this weekend? I'll be back with more Netflix reviews.